you can ask questions now if you want. It would, it, it would be nice if you get to the microphone because, okay. Correct. <laughs> I know where you're going. So he is asking, the TCGA is a resource of samples as well as data. How are we going to ask to act as a biobank? We're not. Uh, the reason we're not is because we are legally impeded to do so. When we got the MTAs to get the samples. We said that they were going to be used for TCGA, by TCGA, on TCGA. We are not authorized to give them away, okay? That's the first thing. It's a big thing. If I give them away outside the TCGA, you all know if you have participated in AWGs, the analysis working groups always have these bright ideas of things to do, which are great. Uh, they're outside the platforms that we use at TCGA, which is not great, uh, which means that in order to do them, we have to find a center that is part of TCGA that is willing to do it, and we need to find funds that are not TCGA that are going to pay for those platforms to be done. Um, because we cannot send the samples outside. And on top of everything, uh, you know, orange doesn't suit me well. You know, it's not my color. Uh, so if I give these samples away, I will end up in orange. Uh, so the, the other thing is we don't have that much left after we did all these platforms. There's really, really little left. And testament to that is that we couldn't do RPPA even when, 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 when Gordon was as nice as he was to do whatever samples we sent him without payment, I may say. Um, we, we couldn't do all the samples because most of them were depleted or, or some of them were depleted. And I tell you, after we gave for RPPA, most of them are now depleted. Uh, and, and also, you, you can imagine that we get requests for analytes and samples. I get uh, I don't know, about eight to 10 a week. I get so many that I have a form letter that goes, we cannot give them to you because one, two, three, four. Okay, so it will be impossible to actually give these samples away in a fair, we are not set up to do this. Mm -hmm. Well, they can, they can come to us and I will see if I have enough funds to make the validation happen. But it will have to be in the context of our system. We have WGAs. Yeah, well, we have WGAs. We have plenty. We have never. We have done for every single sample. We never used them. Okay. So this will be it for that discussion. Uh, and now it, it's my pleasure to introduce. Sorry, I, I made Katie come here. Come here, Katie. Okay. So she's the chair. Okay. And I'm introducing the keynote speaker, but. She's the chair, so she should be here. Uh, okay, so Paul Cohen uh, is going to talk about uh, the big mechanism pro uh, uh, program at, at DARPA. The, we, we tried to get Paul for last year, and then we had things going on. It didn't work right. And so we went ahead and tried to invite him this time. And he's, he was gracious enough last year to say yes, and then we couldn't. And uh, he was gracious enough to say yes again, even if we canceled on him last year. Uh, he, he's a very nice man. And, and he's going to talk about, uh, to us about what DARPA, uh, you, know, you know what DARPA is, do you? It's the, how, what's, it's the defense advance research projects agency. There you go. So it's a research agency that uh, on the side of the fence does advanced project. And in fact, a lot of things that we carry around these days and we could not live without are a result of DARPA. 
Okay, so it starts as this defense projects, but it ends up going to the whole community. So he's going to talk to us about something that is really, really interesting, which is how to deconvolute very complicated systems, uh, and, and they have a really neat way of doing it. So it's my pleasure to introduce to you Paul Cohen. You may not know him because, again, he's working in DARPA, uh, but, but he's a very bright guy, and he, I, I, I imagine that his talk will, will, will floor you. Thank you for coming, Paul. Thank you. Thank you, JC, for your kind, kind introduction.